Hey everybody, it is Meryl, and we are going to be drawing Nicki Minaj today. Uh, she has been a top request. The last Facebook poll that I took, uh, she came in second place, and that was actually the third time in a row that she came in second. So since she got uh, two, uh, no, three silver medals, uh, we're going to draw her today. Now let me tell you about this new series, You Draw. It is not going to replace the step-by-step -step drawings that I do. I'm definitely going to continue to do the step-by-step -step drawings, but um, this is meant uh, as a way to get people used to doing drawing from life. And I, I am kind of modeling uh, the process. And of course, it's not the ideal uh, when, when somebody is instructing from across the country, across the world, but I'm trying to teach you um, the observation vocabulary, you know, so that you can draw from life or from observation uh, when you so choose. So what you're seeing me do now, I, I scribbled in the shape. That's all I did. I scribbled in uh, the foreground and the background. The foreground, of course, is the body. The background, um, I made it uh, nice and easy for you. I just made it white. Uh, so yeah, you can see the edges very well. Um, you know, tried to make it as easy as possible. I'll give you a tip. Look at the area underneath the arms and uh, try to see those two shapes and that will help you. Okay, so pause the video now and observe um, the, both the reference image and um, also my drawing. And we're back. Okay, so I'm going to be doing that um, quite a bit uh, over the course of this video. I think there is four more stops, and we have another one coming up in about a minute and a half. Uh, you might have noticed I put in the hands just as trapezoid shapes. And if you've seen my step-by-step -step videos, uh, I like to see things as shapes. That's very helpful to me. I put the big shapes in before I put the small shapes in. I, I work from big to small. Don't worry about those fingers yet. Those are intimidating. We will get to those, and you will see me mess up on those um, and then fix it. Uh, but uh, don't worry about these small shapes until you get those big shapes in. Sometimes I add shadows because that uh, those are shapes uh, as well, and they help me see um, the bigger picture in things. Uh, so I put that on the side of the body there, um, and now you see me doing some guesswork. I'm noticing that the um, the armpit is somewhat even with the um, the cut of the blouse uh, on top, and I'm just measuring that. Uh, the line that I put across the neck, uh, that's the shoulder line. It's very faint right now. I should have mentioned that before. Uh, but uh, the shoulders are pretty straight in this. Usually one shoulder is slightly higher than the other, um, uh, w but um, her posture is very stiff in this. going to pause it in a second, um, and I want you to observe. Just start the face. Um, I'm, I'm going to stop talking in a second. Just start the face. Measure out um, the head, the hair, and the face. And we're back again. So now that I got the um, the general placement of everything, now I'm going to put uh, some of the features in. Um, and I'm just, I'm perfecting. You know, I'm perfecting what I had. Uh, and I am, I'm being very, very uh, careful to make sure that I look uh, at the reference image. Uh, I want to get in the habit of looking once every five seconds. And I posted it on the screen for you. You can also hit the link in the video description, um, and you can print out uh, a copy of this. Um, I should have said that at the beginning of the video, but you guys love me anyway. Anywho, um, yeah, working on the... Um, oh, this is important. Uh, the stuff that she's wearing, the matching necklace thingy and wrist thingy, I don't even know what to call it. Um, I, I just basically scribbled in shapes for that. Um, I pressed really hard with the pen. A pencil, rather, and I just scribbled in shapes. Um, you know, I, I suggest you do the same. You'll drive yourself nuts if you do more than that. Okay, now you are seeing me uh, carve out the fingers. This is not fun. Uh, I suppose I procrastinated a bit with this, but um, do your best. You can always move them. Um, I'll give you a hint. If you look at the fingertips, the edges around the hand, it's not the same. Like, for instance, uh, on top... Um, you know, it, it's very different than it is on the sides. Uh, you see that dark line on top on the hand to the left there, uh, and it, it's very different. So um, the hands will look better once we start the shading, but for now, just get in the general placement. We are pausing the video um, right now, and 
look at my ref uh, look at my picture and look at more importantly the reference image um, pause the video now quick side note these videos are a heck of a lot easier for me to do than the step-by-step uh, -step videos those things took like a weekend to do uh, and their point was uh, you know for beginner artists but I'm really excited that people have been requesting this type of video because um, you know they're fun to do and they're easier to do and I think that um, you know for the more uh, intermediate to advanced level artist uh, they will definitely benefit from this okay so be careful with the face uh, this is gonna get tricky uh, in a little bit uh, because take a look at her lips do you see any dark lines anywhere on the lips the only place that you see a dark line is in the corner of the mouth uh, on on your left um, the other side of the mouth it, it's a little bit dark but it, it's really um, you know if you compare it to the crease underneath the chin um, or the area around the eyes uh, at the top of the eyes you know she's wearing uh, makeup um, it, it does not compare now, I want to say this. You are drawing really small, um, you know, and I'm drawing really small. When portrait artists do portraits, uh, they're usually big. They're usually the size of people's head. Take a look at that. Compare it to my hand. That is like, uh, I, I could like hold it in my hand. You know, if it was like a, a cutout, it would fit within my palm. So you have to adjust your expectations of the portrait aspect of this. We're doing this for practice for figure drawing, maybe a little bit for portraiture, but, um, you know, just adjust your expectations. I'm using a very soft brush, and the reason being is because I really want to be delicate with moving the, um, uh, the graphite around, uh, especially on the face. Uh, but you're going to see me use a softer brush than I usually do. I usually use a bristle brush. I'm using a, um, a very soft uh, watercolor-like brush for this. I'm being careful not to go too dark on that mouth. You can't help it because um, you're using a something with a fine tip. And yeah, if you press on it, it's going to leave a dark line. But uh, you have to be really delicate. I'm using the eraser too uh, to pick it up. Look at how small that space is. That is a challenge to this. Keep that in mind. But draw what you see instead of what you know. Um, you know, look at those dark eyes. Look at that dark chin. Uh, those are the only really dark areas that you have. The hair, um, of course, that's dark too on the side there. Um, but, you know, just draw what you see instead of uh, what you know. And that's the challenge to this. Okay, so we're going to pause again in a moment. And um, you could actually pause this earlier because I'm gonna I'm gonna uh, pull out uh, a little bit uh, from the portrait mode, uh, but um, yeah, you can pause it now. Focus on the portrait. Maybe go back a second. I should have thought uh, of that when I filmed that. And we are back. Oh, look, I put that convenient subscribe button up there at the top. Uh, if you've made it this far and you have not subscribed to my channel, please support uh, Kazan GNM and uh, subscribe to the channel. Um, I love to do this. This is a lot of fun. Um, and, uh, you know, it's great that people are learning. So, um, you know, please support me with that. Um, back to this, back to the uh, the business of um, doing a Nicki Minaj drawing. Um, we are starting to finish up this portrait we still have about another two or three minutes left in the video now we are about to shift our focus to the edges we have the placement correct now we are looking to figure out each edge and in this and this is actually a good picture to work from in this you have a bunch of different edges notice how different um, the inner edge of the arm is uh, on the left hand side compared to the outer edge of the arm um, notice the edges of the hair. Look at how uh, uh, dark the edge is um, on the left-hand side. Uh, and that, of course, goes with the arm, um, you know, versus the right side. So you see different edges everywhere. Uh, and you see some highlights. You see one on, the fore on each forearm. You see one at the shoulder. Um, the hair is in highlight. Um, the dress, it's really tricky to draw something that's white. Because, yeah, you have to give it shape. Uh, but you don't want to go too dark. Uh, you want to um, you want to shade, but you don't want to go too dark. I l I use the blending tool on this. Um, I use the paintbrush a little bit. Uh, you know, I add a little bit. I take a little bit away uh, with the eraser. Uh, it's a lot of trial and error. Uh, you'll figure this out. 
Remember, the whole purpose of this is not to um, necessarily make a perfect drawing at this point. It is to give you the vocabulary so that when you draw from life, you start to see shapes, you start to see tones, you start to see edges. And learning drawing is like learning um, another language. You're learning to translate the three-dimensional world onto a flat sheet of paper. And really, it, it's, you know, that, that's the perfect analogy for it. You're learning another language. Anyway, I'm going to shut up with my analogies, and we are going to pause the video one more time. Um, this is the last time until the end of the video, so you should be starting your shading right now. You can pause the video now and uh, get to work. And we are back. We are ready to finish this drawing. Um, I hope that you're doing well. I hope that, um, you know, this video is helping you. Um, yeah, let's finish this strong. And I would love it if you posted this as a video response, um, if you've gotten this far. Uh, just you could take a picture of it um, or, or put it on my Facebook page, whatever is easier for you. But I love to see the work that you guys do. Um, it lets me know that I'm on the right track. Um, Okay, looking at my drawing, oh, we're, uh, we're right on right on cue, look at the difference in the edges. I am getting rid of that edge, and I'm putting in a line that's more similar uh, to what is in the reference image. And I'm doing that on the other side. Um, yeah, when you finish, you're just getting the edges of everything. That That's what, uh, that's what finishing a work is, at least to me. Um, yeah, we uh, there's not too much left to do, uh, but, you know, we're going to put the tattoo in. We're going to put some highlights in. Yeah, look at look at uh, how that changed it right there. I made that uh, a lot more in highlight. Um, I'm going to do something similar with the other arm, and um, you know it really changes things up uh, when you do little things like that. So you add a little bit, you take a little bit away. I'm starting to put folds into the clothing so that it's not just flat. Um, I'm exaggerating that a little bit because it's really not there. Uh, but um, you know, you can choose to do that. Um, you saw me with the brush that you know, delicately moves things. Um, the blending stump, you know, it, it's a little bit more force. You know, it's friction on the paper, um, extreme friction, and that will, um, you know, damage the page a tad, but um, it'll also give you that nice neutral value. Uh, so I like using both. Um, we are finishing up. We got uh, just about uh, a minute left in this video. And, yeah, I just... Um, you know, I hope that uh, I hope that you are following along. Um, I hope that uh, you like this type of video, and um, I'm always listening. You know, leave me comments. Um, you know, let me know what you think. And I want to repeat, uh, we're still doing step by step videos. Um, you know, if you're somebody that is uh, newer to art, I think those will help you more than doing something like this. And if you're new, new to art, what I would do is I'd start off with the, um, you know, videos like the eye, how to draw the eye, um, you know, very easy ones. You know what, I'm going to make a playlist, um, a bunch of different playlists that will, um, you know, that'll be uh, easy, medium, difficult, and so forth. Uh, but anyway, um, yeah, nothing left to say on this one, so I'm just going to uh, leave you with that. And we are about to pause the video one final time. That is my final uh, work right there. Um, I hope this helped. I love those video responses. Keep them coming. You will get a critique from me. Anyway, thanks for watching.